Today we are in Reval with, again, with Przemek Lonishin, who knows everything about this part of the coast. And today we will be talking about fishing. We will talk about uh, fishing because we are right now in the very special place. This is the harbor, fishing harbor in Reval. You can see right behind us a few boats uh, of local uh, fishermen. That is uh, that was something typical for that area, that part of the um, Polish uh, coast, right now Polish coast, because the tradition of uh, fishing boats came with uh, Germans. At the beginning of the 20th century, they were using more or less similar boats in the shape. Of course, now we have different materials. They're made of uh, metals right now. But uh, more than a century ago, uh, they were made of wood, sometimes even with, with a sail. There were sailing boats for fishermen when they were using nets to catch uh, fish. That's how it looked like. Um, later, fishermen started to use engines as a motor to, uh, to move easier, deeper uh, into the sea. And that traditions of fishing uh, were transferred from Germans to Poles. This is very important to understand. Western Pomeranian area is the area that did not belong earlier to Poland. Everybody who started to live here were from inland. They never seen, most of them, never seen earlier the sea. So fishing here, that was something strange for them. They had to learn how to do this. And they had to do this to survive. So how it was organized in late 1940s. Every crew had to contain at least one German fisherman. And that f German fisherman was teaching Poles how to do this job, where to catch uh, the fish, what type of nets they need, uh, what to do if the wave is higher or smaller, how to behave, how to help themselves in case of any dangers. Because you have to remember that people died over there. It's a very dangerous job, isn't it? It is. It is. Of course, they will say something completely different. But counting the number of, uh, of fishermen who never came back home uh, is uh, large enough to really treat this occupation as something dangerous. So such things uh, the Poles who came here had to learn from, uh, from Germans. It was uh, 1949, 1950, when the last Germans uh, had to move back uh, to Germany. And that five, four or five years were used to transfer the knowledge about uh, boat fishing uh, to, to the Poles who started to live here and who tried to, to bring, to build future for their lives here at the Polish uh, coast. So that were the beginnings in 1940s. Right now, as I mentioned, it looks more or less the same. Uh, the same technologies, slightly different materials used uh, for nets, used for uh, boats, or used for the flags that also you can see those waving flags that are used to mark the nets where they are in water. Colors are essential uh, here. If you have red flag, it means that the net is floating. Black flag means that the net is closer to the seabed, so it means that any vessel could go over uh, this net, so it is safe uh, to go over. Red flags, uh, it means that you have to go around a net. That's, uh, that's how it works. Also, fishing here uh, brings uh, good opportunity for the people because you can uh, come here very early Mm, during the journal hours and see how the boats are going uh, offshore and how they are coming back. It's a very picturesque moment worth of, uh, of watching. It takes about an hour, sometimes slightly more, sometimes some slightly less. It depends on the state of the, of the sea, but it is interesting. Later, uh, you can also observe in the harbor the facilities uh, we have on my right uh, hand. Uh, in those facilities, they're taking uh, the fish from nets, and that's also is interesting to see how they're doing 
uh, because they have to be very well organized, especially in the summer season uh, because of the temperature. They have to be very fast to put as soon as possible all the fish to ice to keep them uh, cool, uh, to make them uh, fresh and later distribute uh, to our tables. Because what could be better uh, than eat a fish directly, taken directly from the sea the same day? If I can recommend you something, uh, try uh, this. Of course, we have larger ports, seaports uh, in Poland, also on the western coast. But really, if you want to see that tradition, you have to come uh, here uh, to Poland. Also, you can see such boats uh, in German part of uh, Western Pomeranian region, but more of them uh, here. And also, uh, if you will be interested in, you can ask fishermen about uh, their job. Because uh, some of them really, they have wonderful stories uh, to talk about. I had an opportunity to write a book about, uh, about this, so I've heard really a lot of uh, colorful, but sometimes scary uh, histories uh, from their lives. And really that is also something, uh, something is interesting, something unique and something that belongs very much to this region. Wow, that's, that was cool, Przemek. Thank you so much. Uh, I will see you soon, guys. Stay tuned, subscribe, stay with us. Stay with us. Bye.